Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Trust plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson and today we'll be talking a little bit about the new um, Skylight uh, tool here with its uh, four different icons. So to begin with um, I just pulled that out of the uh, tray down here. Um, you have the Draw Skylight, Edit Skylight, Regen Skylight, and Delete Skylight. So fairly simple. Let's go ahead and put that back. All right, so to start with, I'm going to show you guys um, what I would do typically with like a truss roof. So let's go ahead and just draw a real basic truss roof here. Um, let's make that, let's do 24, uh, let's see, maybe 32, okay. And sure, let's do all the advanced options, turn those on. Okay, so there's our roof. Pretty basic, 412 pitch. Um, <clears throat> so typically when you lay out these, well, first of all, let's turn off this gypsum here. I want us to talk about this layout. Um, when you start laying out uh, these uh, skylights, you want to, you know, obviously place them between the trusses so they land in the right spot. And it, it's kind of tricky because you're basically position, positioning them on this cladding face and it's hard to align to any truss below so what I suggest doing is um, basically we need to make a few construction lines. You can use a construction line tool. I just typically use the, the regular line tool. Um, so <clears throat> I basically start here. This is where the edge of the wall would be. And I'm going to come in six feet. I mean, and there's more than one way, you know, one way to skin this cap. But I just want to show you one method that I use. So I'm just throwing a couple of lines down, which I will delete once I'm done. Um, let's go ahead and turn off the roof cladding and roof sheathing layers so we can see what's going on. So, you know, where you want to put these, it's up to you, but I'm going to put the first one here in this fourth bay over. So one, two, three, four. I'm just going to draw a line right here where it intersects that truss onto that line. And I'm just going to project that line straight up. So it goes basically outside of the the rooftop there. Okay, and then let's come over here to the same thing. Uh, on this side, doesn't matter what side really, but just for consistency sake, one, two, three, four, we're going to put it in this bay here. Okay, and then just get that blue inference going on. So we get it to the z-axis straight up. Okay, and then jump out of there. Okay, so there's our uh, are kind of like two reference lines, right, that are going to project through the roof plane, and then we can use that to help us position these skylights. So <clears throat> typically what I do is I'm going to put the skylights, and I suggest doing this, you want to position the skylights on the roof cladding, not the roof sheathing. And the reason is because if you don't do that, um, it will not cut the hole through the roof cladding. It will only cut through the roof sheathing. So you want to do your positioning on the roof cladding layer. And if there is only a roof sheathing layer, then yeah, of course the roof sheathing layer. But whatever the topmost layer is, that's the layer you want to position on. And I also suggest turning off the roof sheathing layer at this step simply because if you don't, it's a little harder for the uh, SketchUp to inference to that um, that plane or that uh, cladding layer. And it tr sometimes tries to inference over down into the uh, sheathing layer. So just a few little tips there, I guess. Um, so let's go ahead now, and I think we're ready, and we'll go ahead and click Add, Draw Skylight. And I'll just um, stay with the 22 by 46 for this first one. And so now you can see, as I mouse over each surface, um, it will show me kind of a preview where that's going to land, and it highlights the face of the cladding. Okay, so in this case, as we remember, we put that to the side. So what we will do is hit the control key, which will toggle the placement. And see, we can toggle uh, basically nine different positions by just continually hitting that control key. So I'm going to toggle there. That will line me up perfectly. So I just come down here, and when I get that intersection inference, go ahead and click that. Okay, then we come over here, and... Just to change this up a little bit, I'm going to change to say a slightly smaller skylight. Hit update. Okay, now you can see that that skylight's a little different. Okay, so now we're going to come over here. 
and I want to make sure it's inferencing correctly so I'm going to make sure that yeah okay I think we got it okay so hit the space bar jump out okay so first thing you're going to notice is you're going to see like this blue probably going to see this blue uh, tech or layer of material here right so what that is is that is actually a kind of a hidden layer it's called the roof outline layer and over here I'm going to turn that off you don't have to leave it on you can turn it off it's just providing um, kind of a hidden outline where it tells the plugin that's the kind of the cutting square that chops through the sheathing and cladding okay <clears throat> so I'm gonna turn on the roof sheathing now and we can go ahead and get rid of these guidelines if you like just delete those out and let's see grab that one too while we're at it don't need that one again uh, you know how exactly you decide to uh, position and place is kind of up to you um, but uh, just one idea that I have that seems to work reasonably well um, so yeah let's let's get rid of this grid layer too just so we can have better visibility here what's going on okay so if we zoom in here real quick to see what's happening the first thing you're going to notice is that the because you'll notice right here when we when we edit this guy you're going to notice that skylight offset and that's currently set to 0.25 so what's happening is is you're positioning this skylight on this uh, surface here this plane and then by doing that 0.25 offset it's actually pushing it down 0.25 and actually resting uh, the curb um, 2x4 right on top of the sheathing which is what you want it to do in an actual, actual installation so that's why I have this offset parameter and again you know you can always change this um, after the fact you can see now it's sitting up on top of the cladding which you know you, you act you don't want because it's actually the proper way of course is to sit on that and so basically you can adjust this offset after the fact or while you're placing uh, your skylights um, you know so I mean you know if the roof cladding is thicker um, then you can adjust for that so that that is the purpose of that offset uh, parameter and um, you can actually have it so the skylight doesn't actually cut the hole through the uh, cladding and sheathing as you're seeing here but you can turn that off um, one thing to note though, um, <coughs> I'm going to just turn on the gypsum layer real quick here. I do not have the skylight cutting the hole through the gypsum yet. And the reason is for that is I'm still trying to figure out what is the best methodology or, or whatever you want to call it. Because I've seen skylights, you know, where the, the hole comes down at an angle for a bit and then it, you know, then it cuts in down straight or it could just come straight off of that uh, you know in parallel to the skylight itself and, and cut like kind of in that direction so it's kind of up to you to go ahead and figure out how you want to make that final cut through your ceiling um, but for now I don't I just don't have it cutting through that because I mean I could it's it's actually really not that hard once I have it cutting anyways it, but it's just a matter of figuring out how to lay that out um, <coughs> so for now, it uh, just cuts through the cladding sheathing. So, okay, so you ask, well, why do we have this regen button, right? Well, that's a good question. So, in some cases, you know, you're going to edit this roof. And when you do that, um, now we're not going to mess with the pitch or anything, but let's just say we do something fairly minor, doesn't matter what. Uh, let's change our shingle color, for instance. Okay, so there, we've gone ahead and done that. Uh, let's turn that gypsum layer back off just because we don't really want to hide everything. So you'll notice the first thing is when you regen that roof, uh, and this is with complex roofs, rafter roofs, truss roofs, it doesn't matter. Um, basically, the holes are filled in. It's gone missing, right? And and that's that's behavior um, that I, I... Basically, what it is is I have not set up um, this uh, skylight uh, module so that it is automatically called by the regen function of the roofs and eventually I may do that but for now I haven't and so the workaround for that it's very simple is if you do have to regen your roof well to recut the holes you just you just refresh your skylight so you just click this mouse over that skylight just click each skylight boom it's done and, and the and the purpose of this too also is, is you know sometimes in some situations um, you know you may reposition that skylight and, and to reposition a skylight is really easy 
you just jump in and notice there is no move tool um, I'm gonna shift this over to the next base so let's say uh, 24 inches okay okay so now you're saying well okay we, we got to recut the hole obviously and we can do that um, just by hitting this button uh, but now you still got that old hole right okay well basically what you want to do at that point is you just want to click here update your roof close that and then go ahead and re regen these skylights and so now you have it's just a matter of refreshing a little bit and so you've basically healed your hole your old hole and now you've cut your new holes and there you go so your skylights are good to go um, so that's basically it. Um, rafter roofs, uh, complex roofs, they're all virtually the same behavior as with a truss roof. Um, you can position your skylights, like I said, you can jump in. Um, <clears throat> you know, you could actually move them up and down and, and that sort of thing. In this situation, if you're moving it down the roof, you probably want to position your uh, cursor, you know, along, you know along, along the edge or something like that, or along a guideline so that you can just push it in plane with the roof. Um, <clears throat> so so the nice thing is, is yeah, you can just use the native tools to move your skylights after the fact. And then again, if you don't want your skylights, um, just delete them. And then of course the holes are still there, but then we just edit the uh, truss assembly, hit update, and the holes go away. Okay, so that's... Uh, that's pretty much a uh, the skylight um, function in a nutshell. The only other thing I kind of wanted to show you guys really quick, if I've got a few more, another minute here, um, you can also use this um, this tool. I'm just going to create kind of a mono pitch type of roof. Nothing complicated here. Um, so let's make that a group. Okay, <clears throat> so basically, you want to put your this solid, and it needs to be a solid if you want to cut the holes. It, uh, you want to, um, and let's go ahead and just put a color to that, and then I'm going to actually change that color to kind of like that, so you can see it. All right, so so there's like a solid roof, right? And you know, you might have some other geometry for your building, what have you, but you want to have that solid roof inside of another group so I'm just gonna put this guy uh, everything here inside make group that whole thing okay and the reason why you need to do that is because as the plugin works and adds that um, skylight in if you don't have a, the group within an overall group then it will try to add the skylight into the solid group itself which will um, make it no longer solid and therefore when you try to add another skylight it won't cut the hole Okay, so there we go. There's a solid. I'm just going to go ahead and grab this tool here. We're going to have it cut the hole in the skylight. And we'll just go ahead and place it like that. Okay. And I'm not just doing it in city color. So you can see that in, in this case now, the skylight will cut the hole completely through um, the, uh, the solid. So I and it's just kind of projected parallel to that skylight itself or perpendicular, I guess. Um, and you know, I like I said, I you know, the skylight hole might be different than that. It might come down and then it might go straight. So if that's the case, you know, you can you'll probably have to turn the cutting off, um, you know, for that skylight, and then basically uh, do it yourself. But but yeah, it's kind of cool because now you can uh, you can throw skylights into you know any generic solid that you create for your roof. Anyways, that's it in a nutshell. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions or additional features you want to see added to this module, please let me know. And always, thank you very much for your support.